Alright. Let's do it. So, we're back on another map that... You know what, I... Excuse me, I just- I really hate to be a negative Nancy, but I- I'm just not fond of any of the maps I've got so far in this campaign. And trust me with that, murder construction site number 5 is definitely not one of my favorites either. Um... Again, as usual, you can take some guesses as to why. Uh, this one, I don't think is as terrible as ones we've played before. It's not one of my favorites, but, I mean, let's take a look. Right off the bat, you do have some hard cover with this Hilux, this, uh, Ute here. Which isn't terrible, but you don't get into a lot of contact using this, so it's not that useful. Contact tends to happen around here. It's just out of range. This bulldozer is good hard cover. This is our mainstay for a lot of our engagement. We really need to use this. Uh, and then you've got this, um... You've got more of the bulldozer, and then you've got this thing here, and then this truck. Which is also hard cover. So, in that sense, you actually do start with a good amount of hard cover, which you get to, um... Uh, which you get to sit in. So it's not as terrible as the other maps where, you know, that you've got nothing but half cover. Uh, the problem here is though, is it, it is, a, is a murder street. Excuse me. It is a murder street. So even though we have all this hard cover to start with, we have no real uh, reliable avenues to flank through. There is no concealment apart from this truck. And if you try to go up the right side of this truck, uh, there is nothing stopping them from just sitting here and shooting you as you come up the side. Uh, the most you can ever do is get in the truck. That's really about it. Um, so, I mean, it looks fine. You've got all this hard cover, but you will get to about here, and then you will stop and go, how do I advance now? And as usual with these kind of maps, the best we can do is use hunker down and half cover and make a very dogged approach. So, with that in mind, uh, let's go ahead and move up. Now, we do have, still have a squad site sniper, and that is going to be our saving grace. Uh, like all the types of maps that are like this, where it's very open... Uh, and that usually works against us. That's going to work for the sniper. Um, so the question, the first question of the map is, do we put her on the left side or the right side? This is going to affect the angle she has. Now, if we put her on the left, she's going to have a better angle up this left side of the street. If we put her on the right, she probably won't be able to shoot there, but she'll be able to shoot um, possibly through here, through the middle, uh, and to this right side. The problem with that is then she's going to hit this bulldozer. Uh, I could also put her back here. Uh, or put it back back in the corner of the map uh, and just not worry about cover because she's got squad sight and just try to make her use most of the map's range. Um, or I could... Now, ideally, I could also put it behind this thing, but then I'm using up cover that everyone else is going to need. Uh, let me check who I've got. I've got a support. It's been a couple days since I played, in case you couldn't tell, so i got to remember what I've got again. So I've got a support. Two... Two, uh... Two squaddies. No, two rookies and a sniper. Okay. Uh, well, let's let's make inroads. So let's put her up the. Um, it's a tough choice. Like I mean, it should be a really easy choice. I don't know which one to put her on. Um, let's put her right here. And then, if she needs to deal with any packs here, we can always shift her over and hunker down for a turn. Uh, so the rest of the team, we want to take this bulldozer. So we're going to use the half cover because we're probably not going to take contacts here and just use it to move up. Alright, so I hear floaters. That's always good. Something other than the sectoids to fight. Great. Who doesn't love fighting tougher aliens? Tougher alien enemies. Um... Let's move up Gundung Wenner first, because she's got the least to lose. Because she's got the frag. I've got a visual. Okay! Again, reasons I don't really like this map. It's a narrow death corridor, which means whenever you have a narrow map, it's always going to be a clown car for spawns. You're not going to be able to get away from spawns. You're just going to move up the map and you're going to hit them, you know, no matter where they are. Um, now... That is not entirely good. Like I was saying before, we have this heavy cover, but we have no real way to flank them. It's all half. It's all half here. So unless these guys attack us, it's going to be a very dug-in, difficult fight, which we don't want to be in. Uh, so, it's almost worth... And this is the thing. It would be worth per perhaps dashing up here just to get that early assault before they set up pinning fire and overwatch. But if I dash up here, 
because the map is so narrow, I'm likely to activate another pack already. So I want to play this, or I, you know, I have, I'm being forced to play this quite reserved, uh, in this sense. Let's move up Clark here, and Prey doesn't activate anything. Good. And let's take the final spot here with White. And let's hope they come out to us, and we can get a squad sight shot on them. Um, I'm gonna move, the sniper's not gonna be able to, probably not gonna be able to shoot through here. So I'm gonna move the sniper to this car, and hunker her down, and I don't think she's gonna get hit. Uh, from there, she really shouldn't. Because she's out of range. So we should be good like this. And we'll see what they do. Hopefully they assault us. If they stay in place, we're going to have to get creative, as always, with these kind of maps. What the hell uh, with that? how we advance. Maybe burn a grenade or two. Or probably, more likely, just abuse a squad site sniper to get out of this situation. Especially if we could hit the mine melder, that would help a lot. Okay, so that guy's moved twice. We got a one mine merge, and now the other one needs to move. One move. He's on Overwatch. This one's assaulting the fuck out of us. We need to kill this guy. This guy's on Overwatch right here. We know because we only heard him make one move. We can't move someone up to scout the mine melder because he's on Overwatch. But we do need to deal with this guy before he, um... Before he flanks the hell out of us. If we have to grenade him, we will. But he needs to die. That's the priority. And for him to die, we have to kill this guy. So let's open up the... Oh, are you kidding me? Oh, the goddamn perils are in the way. Okay, that makes this really tough. See, I can't actually move uh, these folks because they'll get overwatched by this motherfucker. So that is really unfortunate. Uh, and I only have one frag. Oh, no, I have two frags. Okay. So I could burn two frags on this little guy. But then again, that's also a big waste of frags for one sectoid in a map where we're going to have, you know, we've, we've barely seen any contact yet. I'm, I'm amazed he made it that far in one move. He dashed like hell. Oh, I wish I could just flank him, but I know I'm going to get overwatched uh, by this guy, and that is not some that is not a risk I can take. Uh, and in, in this scenario, it seems like I have to... <laughs> I have to bloody frag him. Which is atrocious this early in the game, but, I mean, what are you going to do? Grenade out! Maybe we can, uh, save the frag here. No. I mean, I figure I'm not gonna hunker down these guys because they're gonna be fragging and stuff. Uh, so I may as well try. Such a waste of frags. I mean, I wish I didn't have to do that. I'm amazed he sprinted that hard and that fast. Uh, that was quite a move. Let's move you up. Yep, yeah, okay, good. Let's hunk you down. I'm trying to move her up so I can get a shot on this guy next turn without her triggering the pack to the left, so I'm just being very careful of her. Now this guy is dangerous right now. He could easily take out one of these guys. Damn, oh. The good news about him wasting that shot though is now we can move up a bit more and get out of this murder hole. Oh, I wish you could hit that goddamn guy. That would have been a different move. I could have fragged these drums if I wanted to be risky and then sniped him, but uh, that would have been quite risky. So now that we've got a bit more leeway, uh, we can try and move up here. I'm not going to just dash up to the truck, because then it can come around the side and just slam me. Uh, no one wants that. So I'm going to have to take it slow, uh, move up to this medium cover here, or this, this heavy cover here. Not entirely sure what I want to do with the rest though. I mean, this is what I'm saying, there's nowhere good to really move up apart from if you can get to this drum. And if I dash up, I'm going to trigger another pack most likely that's always tends to be there because the map's so small. So this is about where you hit and you go, I don't know what move I want to make apart from moving this guy here. Uh, let's move Gadongwa up. And hopefully if this guy keeps taking shots, then we can get to this truck next turn without dashing. Uh, which will put us in a decent spot. Uh, and the sniper's not doing any good here, so let's move her back. I should have just kept her with everyone else, I guess. Let's hunker everyone down so there's no lucky shots. Or unlucky shots, I suppose. So I want him to fire. I want him to waste that shot. If he's in Overwatch, we're very hamstrung. So I hope he doesn't Overwatch. Oh, and there's that pack I was talking about. That's good. And now my sniper's not in position for that. 
So this is going pretty bad. I have no frags. I am in the part of the map you don't want to get caught in, but always do. The only thing that could go worse is if those floaters I keep hearing show up. That would be awful. Um, I apparently have a flank shot on a guy, though. Which normally would not be that enticing, but considering my odds, it's one of those shots that I might have to take. Um, maybe if I move her up to the truck. Yeah, maybe if I move her up to the truck and then take the flank, and then I can move white up to this cover. Uh, and, and move it up like that. Or... This might be a better idea. This truck, the closer you get the sectoids, the more they're going to see of me, and the more, um... What should I say? Uh, the, the more likely they are to hit you because of the close range. So, moving her up to the truck and shooting just makes her more likely to get hit. What I could do instead is, because I'm slightly worried about there being a flanking sectoid on this side, because I can't see it, I can move her up to the right, she can cover that flank, and then as long as that flank's clear, I can bring white up here, Clark up here. They're both going to have flank shots on this sectoid. They can take two shots, and they're going to be far enough away that it's less likely for them to get hit by all six sectoids. Whereas if they're up at that truck, those few tiles closer, uh, it's more like, more likely for them to die. So I think I'll do that. Uh, depends though. Is this fucker on Overwatch? Did he shoot at me? I, I've been talking so much I can't remember. Um, which isn't entirely good. I, I think she'll be fine. Yeah, okay. And there's no flanker on the right, so that's good. If I move here, though, can I get flanked? Is something I didn't consider? Yes, I can easily get flanked through there. So that's actually a poor move uh, on my part. It begs the question, do I want to go through with it? Um, which is a fair question indeed in this case. Now what I could do instead is move, uh, move wide up, hunker down, hunker down, get the sniper in position on this little bit here. Or, you know, switch with the, put the sniper in position here so she's got wide open sight lines and then start engaging next turn. Which might be a good idea. Or put her on the left side. It's... It could all work. What if I put Clark over here? See, this is one thing I don't like also about the map sometimes. They get a bit buggy on line of sight. I should be able to see up there, but I can't. Because of the bulldozer, the way the corner's rendered, I think. Maybe it's just range, I don't know. Let's move wide up here. Let's get Sanders ready to snipe next turn, and let's just hunker everybody down. There's no point taking that 65%, it's just not worth it. Flank shots are so enticing like that, especially when you need them. But you've got to remember, it's not how good the shot would be if you got it. What matters is what will happen if you miss the shot. Uh, and when that is, that is just a little better than 50-50, 65%, you know, it's not that great, even though it's exciting. So you can't just assume it's going to hit and go, well, let's take the shot. You have to know what's going to happen if it, fit, uh, if it fails. And I don't want someone to get, you know, hit by a lucky shot by six sectoids, because I tried to take a, a you know, a 65% shot and missed. Two, okay. Now we're fighting, fighting a few more than that. Well, seeing as there's no flanker on the right, let's put her on the left. Maybe we can spot something like that. Mind Melder, please tell me you can hit him. Yeah! That's going to be our saving grace here. Um, this is a little risky right now because ideally we would have her far back. In fact, I could almost do that if I wanted to. Ideally, we would have her far back engaging the Mind Melder so she couldn't take return fire. In this situation... I don't know whether I can either take the heavy cover she's got and just assume she'll be okay. Or if I should, run her back here. Ah, but then can she even hit? That's the question. It's just, the problem is, it's so hard to get sight lines because of this bulldozer. Like, it's our only good cover, but at the same time, it's also blocking us from leaving the sniper back here. And that is, uh, I mean, you know, we, we um and, well, I um and I are about leaving people in hard cover, but it is, it's not a terrible odds to live. And I really do need that Mind Melder to die if I'm going to have any hope of winning this mission. And worst case, these two have shot, so if I want to get really uh, desperate, I can always put Clark down here and probably get a flank shot. Actually, well, on the Porta Potty guy. No, that won't work. Um, worst case, I can take some shots. So let's go ahead and take the uh, Mind Melder out here. Sanders, don't let me down. Okay, that's really not entirely good. 
So again, I mean, it's not the most conservative way I could have played that. It was quite likely it was going to miss. Now we have to consider what we're going to do. And no one can hit this Mind Melder, which makes the question all the more interesting. I could put uh, Gudong Wena in the truck. Can, can, oh yeah, Gudong Wena only has one move. Um, so no, I can't put Gudong Wena in, in the truck. Let's just, let's just call her Binta. I can't put Binta in the truck. Uh, and I'm kind of... Because these two are going to shoot Sanders anyway, there's no point hunkering anyone down. So I kind of need to take shots right now. Um, the question is, what shots? This close guy has got better odds. Although he does have more health, so we need to hit more shots to take him down. But I, th I think that's who we'll shoot. I don't want to leave Binta here because she's going to get flanked next turn by this guy. Uh, I would even be worried about leaving white here. Perhaps. Can he make that? One, two, three. I don't think white can get flanked from there. So let's go ahead and... Oh, that's something else I can do. Let's actually smoke. That's a much better idea. I forgot. It's been so long since I've uh, since I've had smoke grenades to use. I forgot that's something I could do. Uh, Bint is actually in kind of a poor position right now because... Uh, I used her one move, and she can get flanked next turn. Um, so, I don't want to leave her there. I might move white back. Yeah, that's a good idea. I'll move white back here. Been to pull back. We'll smoke him out. And white can draw fire over there if he wants. Yeah, th this works well. So, toss the smoke. We keep him in cover. Toss the smoke. That covers everyone. And now white can take a shot as well. So let's do it. Alright, nice. That's good damage. Alright, so the smoke grenade should keep everyone fairly defended. Um, hopefully it's going to make up for those two being really close and uh, assaulting us. And hopefully it's going to buy us time for next turn. But uh, this is not a good situation. Oh god. Oh, take the shot. Oh, come on. Are you are you kidding me? You're a sergeant. Act like it. Oh. I take it back. Well done, Sanders. Oh, come What the fuck is this? Come on, do it. Do it. Yeah. <laughs> I gotta say something, um, panic always seems to work really well for me. If they're not shooting their teammates, they always seem to kill something. <laughs> I, I love how panic works in this, even though it's horrible. Uh, I, sometimes I just really love how panic works in this. Um, but yeah, that's not entirely good, what's happening right now. <laughs> I have one guy left, and he's really not capable of doing a whole lot. Um, because there's no good cover for him to shoot out from. I mean, if I move him to the right here, uh, if I move Clark to the right here, he can get flanked. If I move him to this cover, he can get flanked. If I... I if I move him to the left, he's not going to have range on anything. I'm really not sure what to do with him. Um, it's I'm considering moving him up to this truck, dashing him, and then he'll be, uh, I mean, I can't hunker these guys down because they're panicked. Dashing him up here, he can, um, he can then draw fire so Binta doesn't take it. The only thing that stops me from doing that is I'm worried about someone being on Overwatch up here, uh, and snapping him as he runs past these tiles. Other thing I could do is run up to this, you know, similar concept. I could run up to this box here, hunker down, but then this box is very likely to be destroyed. So I'm not entirely sure what I want to do. I could just move him to the right here. Overwatch, but then Binta is flapping in the wind for someone to hit her down here. Ah, uh, it's it's tough. I I want to move him up to dash, but what if he gets Overwatched? I mean, it's so close. There really shouldn't be an Overwatch. Oh, there really shouldn't be an Overwatch there. That's just me being paranoid. I think. Let's let's do it. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. What? How is he? 
He's not even in vision! Okay, come on, keep keep running. Keep running. Okay. I thought that guy was mind merging, Jesus. Alright, so that's good. He's taken the fire so Binta doesn't get hit. We don't want Binta to get hit because she's already on one health. She needs to be protected right now. Well, let's see what this buddy does. Now, if he's smart, he'll go for Binta anyway, I think. No, he's falling back. Oh, shit. What's he doing? Don't shoot Binta. Okay, good. Okay, you're a, you're a hero. You're a damn hero. Oh, what the hell? Oh, don't shoot me. No! Oh, God, Clark. Oh, God. Oh, that's not what I like to see. Oh, f oh God. Okay. It's always the flank you don't see coming. Um. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, he's dead and it's all my fault. Oh, God. God. Um. How do I flank this son of a bitch without exposing myself to fire in this stupid half cover? I mean, the sniper can take the shot, but. Oh, God. Jesus Christ. Maybe, maybe I put her, put her in the, in, in the little, little hurdles here. Maybe I put her in the hurdles and then shoot out from the hurdles and then I run. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, oh no. I think uh, Gadongwena has the flank if the sniper can't hit the shot. And then Paul White needs to heal Gadongwena so she can flank properly. I'm just trying to see if if Paul White moved here, if uh, if he could heal Gadongwena. I want to across. One, two, across. No, he couldn't. That is entirely bad. I think I should just take the shot with the sniper uh, and grin and bear it. Take the shot. Oh, you son of a... Mm. How do you... Mm. Toughest little sector. You hit him with a man stop around, he just doesn't give a damn. Oh, good God. Oh, no. <laughs> Oh, I'm considering just running her up and Ramboing this son of a bitch. Oh, no. Oh, no. Uh, let's... Let's hope we don't have to. Let's move wide across. Let's take the shot from here. Do it, White. Drop that tango. Yeah! Yeah! X-ray neutralized. Okay, fall back. Fall back, Dongwana. Take cover. Jesus Christ. I'm hunkering her down. She's in full concealment. I'm not even... I don't even care right now. That's how terrified I am. I didn't, my brain did not even consider not hunkering her down. Oh, God. Oh, Jesus Christ. Stay down. Keep your head down, Sanders. Get your head in the game. Okay. Let's heal, uh... Let's heal White up. Let's get her back in the fight. Oh, let's heal, uh, Gadong went up. Let's get it back in the fight. Rub some dirt on it, you wimp. Now, did this guy just shot, didn't he? Yes, we can move Gadong back out to the, uh, to the heavy cover. Move, 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 move! Alright. I think the safe, uh, option here is take the shot with the sniper. Then Gadong went can hunker down. Let's do it. Take that shot, Sanders! Take the kill! Yeah! Oh, yeah. Alright. Take that fire, Gadongwena. Oh, uh, this business is getting real. I'll tell you that much. Alright. I see a mine merger up here. Uh, next to the taxi. Wanna move Gadongwena up? Spot. Sanders will take the shot. Oh, Sanders needs to reload. Shit. Well, let's move Gadongwena up anyway, just to make sure we're not getting flanked. What?! Je this guy again! You can't even see him, and he just takes reaction shots on you all day. Mother, mother effer. Um. Okay, I'm gonna move White up here. I'm gonna move Sanders across. Next turn, she's gonna shoot this mind melder. I have wanted him since I saw him on this uh, damn map. 
Sanders is going to take that shot. She's going to confirm that kill. He's not even my melee anymore. He's overwatching, but I just hate him. I hate him so much, and he has to die. Yeah, he's getting mind melded now. Maybe, maybe I should have left Sanders where she was. Maybe she won't be able to hit that guy now. Oh god, that scared me. I didn't know that truck was on fire. I, I still can't see him. I can't see any of these bastards, but I know if I move wide up, he's going to take this miracle reaction fire. Um, do, do I wait, I guess? Let, let's put it back in the bulldozer. And I, I guess we wait and see what they do. I know they're not flanking me because I, I just looked, so I don't have to worry about that happening again. Unless there's a line of sight bug on this truck, which I hope there isn't. It, it didn't look like it. You know, I'll eat my words when he comes around the corner and shoots me, but I think I'm okay. Alright, so they're just camping. I don't like it. I don't like it at all. I, I don't know what I'm gonna do. Let's, you know, I'm not, I know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna move Clark up. Get this. Oh, you still can't spot him? You. Mm. Actually, yeah, there is a line of sight bug. Look, she can't see all this black stuff. God, F, F this map, man. F this map. I think I'm gonna have to bound through cover on the left side to get a spot for my sniper. You know, I, I have to spot this guy on the right or else I can't move because I'm going to keep taking that overwatch. Uh, and that overwatch sucks so much. I think I'm going to have to bound on the left side. Um, let's dash him just in case he takes Miracle Overwatch again. Actually, no, let, let's wait because I want to move them both back if I'm going to do that. I wish they would just come at me already. It's a horrible position to be stalemated in. Ooh, I know what I could do. I just spied this ladder and that's given me an idea. I might be able to get a spot if I climb up on this ladder. And you can't take Overwatch climbing up a ladder like that. Or climbing off it, so it's safe. The only thing that wouldn't be safe is if I triggered another pat. Let's just hope that doesn't happen. Yep, shoot the little cement mixer. I didn't want to use that. Well, this is good. At least it, um... At least we can take a shot. I don't know if I want to, but at least I can. Let's look at our options. Actually, no, let's let's take the shot. We don't want to trigger anything else. Take the shot! Ah, son of a bee. Well, this puts us in... a quandary. I mean... Again, it's not the safest play to just take a shot like that when your sniper's in range. But honestly, I mean, you've been seeing this. I'm just happy there's one in range for me to damn well shoot right now. Let alone worrying about, you know, my sniper being in full hard cover. Uh, there's not really much point shooting them back. But at the same time, there's no point hunkering down because, I mean, it's going to shoot Sanders. So there's no point hunkering down. I could overwatch... That does nothing useful though, because it's just going to pin him in the hard cover. I want him to advance into the light cover and be brave, because then he's easier to kill. I want him to try and flank me. In this case, there are not amazing options. I'm still going to hunker down Paul White, because as much as I want my sniper, you know, as much as my sniper isn't in hunker down, she does have one more health, and that makes her safer than if he shoots Paul White. Let's go with that. Let's, let's hunker these two rookies down and leave the, the sergeant in the open. Okay, that's interesting. And that's good. And it turns out that's good that we hunkered down, because it didn't shoot the sniper after all. Okay. Do your little hand signal, yep. That's a much better shot. That's in half cover. I will take that without even thinking about it. Do it. Ah, son of a bee! But the difference is here, um... 45% to hit. I will take this shot. I want to gun this uh, this this MFR down. And I got two on him. Yeah, that'll do. Out of ammo here. Now finish off the baseball game. Ah, MFR. Damn it. Okay, he's he's running scared though. That works. So, <laughs> so I guess they spent like five turns hiding. And then the six sectoids look at each other, and one of them is like, Alright, Bob, 
you're, you're up, you're the scout. And he's like, oh man, me, really? Runs down. He's like, yep, the XCOM is still hiding behind the bulldozer. I'm, I'm coming home now. So, I guess that was their assault action for, for, for now. So now it's time to move White and Gadongwena back, I think, and try and assault this left side. Oh, no, wait, that's right. I was gonna, I was gonna check the roof. So let's check the roof. Um, yeah, let, let's check the roof. Don't activate floaters. I, I still can't see anyone. Good God. Um, I, I want to move up, but this, I, I just got to bite a bullet and move up. This guy, if he's even still there. Yeah, he's still there. I, I can't hit him for whatever reason. I think I need to flank up this right side. Use this Hilux to get uh, to get eyes on him. Let's let's move it up. Okay. Um, she's vulnerable to the left now, but hopefully there's nothing there. And again, it's such a silly mechanic that I can't move this guy up because I'm terrified of this guy getting a lucky Overwatch. But and I wouldn't. But I've seen it happen twice. I know it's going to happen again, so I'm not going to take that risk. Uh, Sanders can go on Overwatch in case someone comes from here. I know he needs to reload. Trust me, I've, I've noticed. I just don't feel safe to do it with him there. Uh, uh, get a hunker down. Oh, he's on that left. What was that? Oh, is this a poor choice? No, I got away with it. All right, let's check this right. Is he there? I can't see him. There's no way he's... I would see him if he was there. There is no way he's... No, he's not there. There's literally no way he could be there. Okay, good. We can move up. Praise praise the lords. We can move up. God in heaven, we can move. Ready to rock. He's, he's actually not there. That frees up our battle space. Now we can start moving again. Never forget the hero sectoid of the two concrete halfpipes who held off XCOM single-handedly for like 10 turns. Good lord. Uh, so this puts us in an interesting predicament now that we can advance. Um, because advancing up this right side, the heavy cover dries up about here unless we hit these. And you'll notice this is all one-way cover. I'm always going to get flanked from the left or right and I haven't secured this left side. And I could easily pull another pack here. A pack tends to spawn around here. I really want to secure this left side and push up there instead, I think, and use this giant bus. This is not a good angle to push up on. You're going to hit another pack and you're going to be in a bad position to do it. Um, so it's kind of funny having spent this whole time wishing I could move up on this side to then go, now I want to go the other way. But, you know, what are you going to do? I'm, I'm a funny guy. Um, let's see. Well, now we should be able to move up um, Clark onto these drums too. Which is good. I mean white, sorry. Whoop! There he be! Oh, you can't even take the shot, you... You, you disappoint me, Amy Sanders. You still can't take the shot, really? Huh, okay. Well, let's, uh, let's keep moving. What do you do, little sectoid? They're backing up. Advance. Ooh. Okay, works for me. Set the little Daihatsu on fire. I am. Um, it is. It is interesting that Santa's cannot hit that shot. But you know what? That just happens. Let's keep us. Let's keep advancing. You know, it, it definitely is interesting. That's what you got to say about it. Maybe if I move her up here, she'll be able to take the shot. Yes, so next turn she can take that. I hate using half cover, but sometimes you have to. If, unless you just want to sit in a corner of the map all game, and that's no fun. Take the shot! Yeah! Who 
it's like the 20th time I've said take the shot this mission. It's just the theme of this mission. They keep coming to us one by one, and Santa just keeps taking the shots. That's good. That frees up some room to move over here. Now we can assault like I wanted to. We want to push this truck and this bus. That's a good angle to take. Oh! I guess you could do that if you wanted, car. Okay. I, I guess if you're into that, you, you feel free. I'm gonna go ahead and hunker these two down in half cover, reload Santa's in full. She needs the reload and she may as well, considering. Keep all the cover equ uh, equitable. Reloaded. If an alien comes on the right side, it might be problematic, but I don't think anyone's gonna show up, so it's a it's a risk I'm willing to take. And now we can take this truck. I've got a visual. Ah! 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 Never stops. There's always more. Quiet. Did you hear something? I I did hear something. Believe you me, I, I heard it. Alright, well, we want Amy over here so she can take the shots. Let's take the shots. We're gonna set up a fire lane down this left side. We're gonna assume the sector is gonna come down this car, use this half cover to engage Paul White on the truck. Sanders sits back here. She's got a nice uh, clear line. Oh, I hope that truck doesn't get in the way. She should have a nice clear line. If not, we'll move her. Th but this shouldn't be too bad. We didn't want her over here anyway, because she wouldn't be able to hit anything from there. Unless they come around the right, which would be very annoying. Okay, nope, they're coming around the left. Good. Just as we want. She cannot take the shot because of the truck, so we're gonna... If we shift her here, is that gonna work? Uh, if we put her on this card door, maybe. Do, 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 do. Yeah, that, that is good. So we want to hit her on this car door. Or, or not. Okay. Maybe we want her here. No, okay. D Sniper just doesn't feel like working today, I guess. Uh, I'm not worried about dashing her about in half cover because there's no way they're going to get down here to shoot her. It's very unlikely, so I'm pretty comfortable doing that. Let's move Godongwe up to heavy cover. Okay, looking, looking decent. Uh, we, you know, with two rookies, the linchpin here is really getting the sniper in position. And I'm having some trouble with that right now, which is not good. At least they're not doing anything either, though. Maybe... How am I going to hit you, you little son of a, son of a bee? Hmm... Well, gosh, that's just annoying. That's what that is. Maybe if I bring her up to the... Ah! What the F, man? What the F? I... I wish I could get a sightline down this alleyway. Just doesn't seem to be my day for that. I don't know what's blocking it. I mean, this car is half cover. It shouldn't block it, so... It's quite irritating. I'm gonna keep these guys in hunker down, advance the sniper up through this half cover car up to the truck just so she doesn't get hit. Then I'm gonna take the shot at close range. Look in the YouTube store soon for key rings that say take the shot. Um, your Oakley earrings and sunglasses, of course. All sorts of XCOM merchandise at, you know, let's make them for about five bucks and then charge about a hundred each. That sounds like a good profit margin. Okay, here we go. Interesting. So they're making moves on the right now. And I can take the shot. I, I'm addicted to saying that word now, I'm very sorry. But I, I literally, I can take the shot now, so... <laughs> that's good. Let's do it. Alright. Uh, better than nothing. I... How did that happen? Isn't headshot supposed to not let that happen? I swear you're not supposed to do three damage ever, let alone with a headshot, but you know what? I, I guess that happens.
And then we're just going to hold in place. Okay, what are you doing? Are you on the roof, buddy? Is that what you are? No, you're behind the bus. Okay. And you're merging the mines. Come on now. Come on now. Yeah, buddy! Picking them off one by one. Ain't no thang but a chicken wang. Ooh, I can get a 45 on that too. Alright, let's hold in place still. I'm not sure. I think this guy's on Overwatch, so I don't want to advance yet. And we'll keep dealing with them like this. This is the safe way to do it. And it's not taking a whole lot of time, so... We're not really wasting a lot of time. If he fires, I'll advance, I think, if I can. Or if he burns his turn. But no, he doesn't want to he doesn't want to fire because he's not stupid. Uh, that begs the question though, what is he doing? I'm happy with how they're assaulting me. I'm happy to just sit in place here and wait for another shot. And on this map, with this cover, with one man down. I really feel like I need to play at this kind of safety, you know, just just camp, let him try and assault me, use that defensive advantage. Yeah, you see him try to have a little man there. That's a good sign. Okay. I guess this is one of the ones we had activated before that we forgot about already. Oh, that is some nice odds there, buddy. This guy's gonna possibly flank me next turn, though. But if I snipe this little champ, I think we don't have anyone left in the bus, so I snipe this champ. Oh, no, I can't flank him, but... Well, I could flank him if I wanted. Be risky, but I could. I'm not sure which of them are on Overwatch, but let's let's take the shot first, because I... Hmm. I, I am going to take this shot, so let's take it. I'm pretty confident in it. Boom! Lieutenant Sanders reporting for duty right there. Can we get Sanders to Colonel before this... <laughs> before the end of the second month where we lose? I don't know. It's possible. Uh, I don't want her to get flanked on the right, so I want to move her to this left side. Then again, if I move her to the left, uh, he can flank around the left as well. Um, a little difficult. Nah, I mean, I don't think she can be flanked like that. He definitely can. We need to move him. So let's, uh, let's go ahead and move him now. That should be good. He... He shouldn't do anything too crazy. I, I think. I think I'm playing a bit loose right now. I'm not gonna lie. It's not the safest moves I could be making. But I'm pretty comfortable. Again, never say you're comfortable. That's when the game punishes you. Uh, watch this. I'm probably about to get punished for saying that. Nope, they're falling back. Okay. Sometimes the game punishes you, and sometimes the game's like, you know what, man? It, it's fine. Don't worry about it. Oh, that's not... Ah, that always gets me. That's not full cover. Let's take the opportunity of them falling back uh, to push up ourselves. And we want to exploit this left axis now that they've given us free reign to do so. Use this bus, come around the back side of the bus, uh, and really exploit it. They'd probably leave our sniper here on the truck. And, and make the most of that. I should have left her in cover and reloaded though, that's silly. But, what are you going to do? We want to get up to this left side of the bus before they come around and flank and realize what I'm doing. If they catch me on the side of the bus, that's going to be what bad. Also, I have to be careful of my moves, though, because I am going to trigger another pack of floaters at some point. Don't forget we heard them. I would like to kill these sectoids before I do that, ideally. So let's pray we get lucky. Oh, I can't see any sectoids. Bugger. Bugger! Can, hmm. can sectoids climb in through these windows? Because 
If I move here, it's a good move unless it can climb through the window and then it fucks me. I... I want to say they can, but I... I'm not certain. Yeah, I'm, I'm not... I'm not certain on that at all. Um... Let's move a long way up here and check it out. Oh god! To say the least. It's hard to differentiate where the organic okay. material that's very poor. The machine begins. It's not gonna win any beauty contests, that's for sure. That is a poor development. I mean, yeah, I know I said I had to expect them, but it doesn't mean I know what to do when I find them. Looks like I can uh take cover here though, the bus should protect me from the floaters, especially if I can take a shot on one of them. Do it, do it, do it! Yeah! Need a resupply. I love the way floaters spiral when you hit them like that. Looks like victory. Alright, we can hunker her down, and we can push our good buddy chap here up. I'm scared of pushing him into the bus, I'm not gonna lie. But I, I don't think they can climb through windows. Let's. What? Oh god. Oh, is that tractor gonna blow up and kill him? Oh! Oh no, it's gonna kill her! We gotta move back. We gotta move back. Can't leave him there. The tractor's gonna blow up. Whew! That puts me in a bad spot. I really need to get out of this corner before they flank me. And my sniper needs to reload, so we don't want to do any anything too crazy right now. Mm. I want to move back up there, but they're going to overwatch me again, so I'm, I'm really stuck right now. I think I'll move Amy Sanders back here. Reload her, and she'll have good angles for next turn. Move Kedongling back here. I'll go down. We don't want to leave her open on the right when she's reloading, so we put Kedongling here to keep this right flank occupied and busy. Oh, that's a Rambo! That's a Rambo sectoid! Oh, God! Oh, what are you doing?! What? Oh, I hate it when you do that! Oh god! No! 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 Get away from me! Oh my god, they're just charging me! Ruthlessly! Oh, that's a really bad percentage to hit. Oh, they're charging me! Guys, help! They're charging the fuck out of me. Um, <laughs> what the hell do you do in a situation like this? I have so many threats and they're flanking me from different angles because of this damn floater thing. Ah, uh, this is poor. These are poor options I have right now. This snipe is in a lot of trouble if I can't kill this floater. But at the same time, how can I kill that floater when these two are so busy uh, trying to kill these damn aliens? Oh, this is difficult. Oh, no, no, no. This is difficult. Oh, no, no, no. No, 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 no. Oh, no, 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 no. What is a boy to do? I think I have to flank this dumb mind melder. I think that's what it's going to come down to. We need some crazy tactics right about now. That's what I'm talking about. I feel like the floater, mm, you gotta watch out when you plan moves like this. Floaters can move really far. So like, what I'm thinking is I pull the sniper back in the cover behind this truck, right? Then I flank around for the mind melder for next turn, set up the kills, bada bing bada boom. Problem is, I'm not entirely sure on the movement range of a floater, but if Sanders can make it to here in one turn, I know they move more, so that's just gonna be able to bound across, I think. Uh, and, and then take her out. So I can't just hide behind this truck, and that is a big problem. Uh, and that's really the problem with, I have with Sanders right now, is where am I going to run her that the floater can't get me? I think the only place I can do it is if I run her all the way down to this truck. Uh, and even then, it's, it's quite scary. 
Uh, it is. Th this is. Make no mistake. This is a scary situation to be in. Make no mistake at all. Make no mistake at all. So I think I'm gonna have to run Sanders down to that truck. Terrible because she's gonna be separated from her friends, which makes it even harder for her to live. But I'm not sure where else I could put her and have her live right now. Um, she just doesn't. She just needs something like that to uh, escape into. And it shouldn't be able to kill her in that turn. Emphasis on shouldn't. It, it might still. Oh, it's, this is a really bad situation. And then White and Gudongwana need to get away from these two, obviously. And they need to flank around and take out this Mind Melder. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, in the coming turns. Oh, oh god. This is, this is tough shit. Oh god, I... Oh, it's horrible. Oh, it's so horrible. Oh. Oh, it's all the worst shit ever. Let's, uh... Ah, oh, god damn. Can it, can it flank me next turn? No, it shouldn't. Ah, uh, we... Oh, ah, come on. Aneurysm, help me. I gotta put her behind this and hunk her down, I think, which is really bad, but that's all I can do. Because if I put her on this hardcover, the sectoid and the floater can flank me next round by sitting here. And never underestimate an alien's ability to go completely Rambo on you and just sit in open cover just to flank you. So I need to put her there. Uh, I'm not worried about the floater flanking her, because she's far enough up I think she'll get away with it. Um, oh, I really don't want to move Sanders there, oh, but I have to. Uh, I have to run Sanders away. And I could put her in the truck, but the damn thing's blown open. I think it still counts, though. I'm not sure. I think that still counts as concealed, but I don't want to... I don't want to count on it. Uh, and then have it be wrong. So let's dash her. Let's, let's get her out of there. Run, Sanders, run! Displace! Okay, good. We could lose this mission very easily. This is very difficult. Okay, there's the mine meld. Floaters, Flanky McFloater's pushing up. That's two moves, that's good, he's not gonna shoot. Oh no! Damn! I, I guess I should have seen that coming, but damn, I didn't think he'd do that. I didn't think he would flank all the way up there. Oh, 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 oh no! Oh god! Oh, I think that might be it. I think that might be it for XCOM Live and Impossible Series One. I think people have been asking for me to restart with some options that I feel like I could actually win with. And yeah, I when I picked the options for this one, I certainly wasn't worrying about winning too much. It was very half ass. It was more of a test. And I think people are about to get their wish. I think if I lose this mission, it's it's time to begin right away with a season I can actually win. Because that's like two squad wipes in the first in the first couple months. No one wants that. I don't think I'd even have money to hire more rookies after this. But having said that, let's leave it up to Sanders. This this will all ride on Sanders. Okay, Sanders isn't feeling it. Uh, that is not good. I'm gonna start playing very loosely right now. Because when I get down to this kind of situation where it's like one soldier left, I just say, you know what, it's up to them. It's not about tactics anymore. It's one soldier's grit and determination. It's not about strategy or flanks. It's about one soldier's will to live, do or die, hunker down, you're gonna get flanked! Get the eye of the tiger, Sanders, what are you doing? Wake up! Not like this, Sanders, not like this! Oh, Jesus Christ, she's oppressed! 
<laughs> this is horrible. Oh god, and Overwatch. <laughs> this is horrible. Move. Move, move, move. Go, go, go. You're taking fire, Sanders. Get the hell down. Like they told you in basic, sprint, duck that fire, duck and weave. Move, move. XCOM, we are leaving. Alright. Here it comes. Here comes the bullet with your name on it, kid. You ready? They're not gonna stop hunting you. Here comes the flank. It was a fucking honor, Sanders! Ah. Central, do you read? We've taken heavy casualties. Squad is down. Solid copy, Big Sky. Return to HQ. Lieutenant Sanders promoted posthumously. Clark, White, Gadongwena. Heroes who gave their lives in defense of the motherland. Mother Earth. loss of life. If only there was some way we could have helped them. Oh, thank God I can get a workshop now. I'll be fine. No, I think, um... Touch, Commander. You know, I think that's as good a time as any to say, you know what? Yeah. <laughs> you know what? We're pretty screwed. Uh, so... Yeah, like I was saying before, when I went ahead and started this, and I, I felt like it was kind of self-evident to most people, uh, I didn't think people would mind too much, but I've seen some people grumble about it, so I want to make this very clear. Yeah, when I picked these second wave options, um, you know, I'd never tried half of them. I've, this is the first I've ever tried second wave. Um, I finished Iron Man Impossible on a, a non-YouTube campaign, just playing for my own fun. Uh, I f and I, you know, I, I wanted a new challenge, so I was just trying out the, the second wave options. And I decided to record it and, you know, try out live, because I wanted to try a live um, format and see if people enjoyed it. Uh, because it's much, it's much quicker, much easier to put these out than, you know, the Iron Man Impossible episodes, which take ages to make. Uh, and I know people want tons of XCOM, so it seems like, you know, a good solution to be able to give people more if they still enjoy it. People have given me a really good response to this. They really like it so far. You guys have been commenting and messaging and saying you really like it, which is awesome. So I'm going to keep doing them. Um, and, you know, I find it really exciting that people enjoy them so much. Because I really love XCOM, uh, as you can probably tell. I love this game. I love the soldiers and little stories that pop up. I love the BS luck. Um, the absolute ridiculous luck and RNG stuff that happens. Uh, I love the little stories, so it's it gives me a lot of fun to be able to, you know, share XCOM with you guys. And it gives me a lot of fun to be able to put it out more often. Uh, and also give you just my stream of consciousness and let you see how I feel when I play it. So I'm very excited to keep doing it. Um, there's not going to be like a break in between. I'm just going to, you know, probably right now go ahead and load up another campaign. Uh, but before I do, I'm going to give some more thought to the second wave options. Might not even use any. Um, before I do, I might actually finish off a balance mod I've been making. I'll tell you why. Uh, I finished Iron Man Impossible on a non-YouTube account, like I was saying, on a non-YouTube campaign. Uh, love the game, but I find it gets really easy once you get past those first couple months. Um, and I've seen it repeated a lot. I know people agree with me. The game just does get a lot easier later on. It becomes much harder to lose people when you get really good equipment. Uh, and really high health points, and I find, yeah, it's just not that struggle. The first couple months of this game are what I love about XCOM. It is such a struggle. Uh, it is every mission is make or break. Every move, every little decision, every roll of the dice uh, can end the game right there. And I find that exhilarating. I love it, and it makes the stakes so high. When that's how heroes are made. You know, you have one little rookie who who makes the shot that wins the firefight, that wins the mission, that wins the month, that wins the campaign, and becomes, you know, a, a colonel later on down the line. So, to keep that kind of difficulty and that intensity in, uh, I'm trying to make a balance mod that makes the whole game as tough and as punishing as, and as difficult as the first couple months uh, for me. Which basically means all the end game enemies I've buffed up a bit, um, uh, you know, made them tougher. Give them more health in a lot of cases, because in the end game, when you've got like these crazy weapons and armor and abilities and kernels, you can just run up and end most firefights in the first turn if you're good. <coughs> Excuse me. 
Uh, so I've upped their health points a bit. Like, for example, you know, Sectopods, Sectopods had 30 health. In the balance mod, I'm going to give them 60 health uh, and completely double it so you can't just blitz them. And so you have to think more carefully, lead them into ambushes, that kind of thing. Maybe Berserkers have more health. Crystalids move faster. Sectoids get a little bit of extra dodge because I want to make that early game a little tougher. Uh, and more importantly, I've nerfed uh, quite a bit of the human side. Uh, reduced the health on armors. Uh, made humans themselves only have one health and all their health comes from armor. Ghost armor got nerfed to hell because ghost armor is um, really goddamn overpowered. Uh, I might as well actually, you know, instead of rambling through the whole thing, I'll put the perspective change log I've got of what I've done so far into the description of this video. If you want to have a look at it, it'll be a link down there. You can see the change log, and that's what I'm thinking I'll play with uh, for the next series I'm going to do. Because this game is, I think these videos are going to be most interesting to you when it's really intense and difficult. And I feel like we're going to get later in the game in Iron Man Impossible Vanilla, and every mission's just going to be like, yeah, well, I killed them, you know, good video. I want to have this mod and have it be really intense. Uh, the only downside of that, and I'm interested to hear what you guys think, is this is not tested at all. I haven't had the time to go through and test the mod yet. I've just made the changes that I think will be good. So if we use this mod, it might get to the point where we'll get to like month four and it'll be like, wow, mutons are really bullshit. I probably shouldn't have buffed them that much. And it might be a bit difficult and we might end up, you know, wiping the campaign. I don't mind that. I don't think you guys would mind that. I mean... Whether we win or lose, we'll get we'll get to a win eventually, and whether we win or lose, it's about the games itself. I mean, I'll show you my, um... Trust me, I'll show you, I do not mind, uh... Losing the start of a new campaign. I am on my... The campaign just we, play, we just played was my 73rd campaign. Uh, I have played many, many campaigns of this game. And I've won... <laughs> I've only won one so far. So, yeah. Um... But yeah, I'm, I'm really excited to try that mod out. It also makes the game more interesting in other ways uh, that I think would be more interesting. I've made it so all the classes can use all the weapons, except only snipers can use sniper rifles. Because uh, I, I think it's interesting to be able to vary up the loadout choices like that. Put a shotgun on a rookie, or put a shotgun on a... For example, put a shotgun on a heavy. Use a heavy as like a, a close combat breaching guy. And then maybe use, you know, like... A, Burst fire, the talent the heavies get, uh, bullet swarm to fire the shotgun twice, you know, that kind of thing. Just stuff like that that lets you use the classes in new ways with new weapons. Uh, and also, uh, making the classes less about their weapons and more about uh, the class itself. So the heavy isn't just a machine gunner, he's more of a, a breacher, a tank. Uh, the sniper is more of a marksman, snipers can use all the weapons as well. So the sniper can be more of a marksman uh, than a cut and dry sniper. Um, assaults can, you know, they can have a, a machine gun and fucking barrel up there with it. Uh, and run up with machine guns, that kind of thing. I think it makes the game more interesting. And finally, the most important thing is... <coughs> not most important thing. Uh, another important thing is I've buffed shivs. I've never used shivs, not even once in this game. I, I used them once, I was like, they're really shit, I never used them again. Um... So I th what I've done is i buffed shivs to make them more useful. Made them slower but tougher, like tanks. And I'm interested to use that mechanized support aspect of the shiv. Have it just really slow trundling fire support platform that soaks up fire and then just mows things down. That could be overpowered. We'll see how it goes. Again, I haven't tested the, uh, the mod yet, but I'm excited to. So if you guys are interested in seeing that mod for my next, uh, you know, live series whenever I release that tomorrow or the day after, let me know in the comments, in the messages, and I'll get on it as soon as I can. I'll give you the change log, you can have a look, see what you think. I think it'll be much more interesting to play it that way. Um, if you want me to just play vanilla, if you think it'd be better because then you really want to see a win, I could be convinced, but I'm probably just going to do the mod thing. Also, if you think you'd rather me take a few days to just go through a campaign and test this mod extensively, make sure it's balanced, I can do that too. But what I'm trying to say is, I mean, it's, it's not me really saying, oh, what do you guys want to do? It's more me saying, um, I don't mind this being unbalanced and us having a wipe if you guys don't mind. As long as you guys just like enjoying the, enjoying the campaign, uh, that's what I enjoy. But yeah, it's been a fun, uh, if short, live series. It was a good test and I'm really glad- I got what I wanted out of it. I got to see that people want to see more and- <coughs> excuse me. And you will definitely see a lot more. I love- I love doing this live series. I love talking about it as I go and giving you my thought process. Uh, and I love seeing people enjoy it. So. Thank you for watching. Thank you for seeing a little taste of this live stuff. It's not going to be a big break. Probably, you know, next couple of days you're going to 
see it just keep going as it always has been. And we'll get started on a campaign that hopefully we can take, uh... Hopefully we can take to the point where you can finally see Beagle Rush shoot more than just sectoids, thin men, and floaters. <coughs> but my voice, um, <coughs> is giving <coughs> out <coughs> really badly. <coughs> so bye, guys. <coughs> see you soon.